I'm Chris, by the way, and this is Steven. The program is called um, Tropical Biology and Conservation, so it's extremely oriented on sustainability, conservation. So especially if you guys are EMB majors, ecology, evolution, it's a really good program for that. Everyone would have, have a good time in this program. You don't even have to be a bio major to go. It's a little bit difficult as a bio major to study abroad because we have so many requirements. In some programs you go and you don't necessarily get major credit, but in this program you actually end up ahead. You get, I think it was three, three, three upper division three upper classes. Division classes, tropical ecology, tropical biodiversity, tropical diversity, and then the research practicum, which counts as an upper division class. So in terms of that, it's amazing. You, I mean, you go through this crazy experience and it's, it's basically like you're on vacation the entire time, and then you come back with probably more units than you would have for major credit. Than you, from just staying at the university. So, This program is pretty unique. It's not really a traditional study abroad experience. I'd say probably three weeks of the whole program was devoted to field trips. And so this was one of them. We're checking out a wildlife refuge here. This right here is a picture of a, a toucan in captivity. It's an ocelot in captivity. The first uh, two weeks of the program, you are, it's, they call it the initial field trip, and you go to a variety of different places. One of the places which was my personal favorite, you stay on an island and you sleep in tents the entire time. Um, it was really cool for a full week. If you like backpacking, you like being outdoors, adventure, this is definitely the program for you. This here is Batia Field Station, uh, again early on in the program. On the stick there, that's a Ferdlance snake. So like, you're really out there. The program director talks to you a lot about like, hey, avoid snakes, always wear, cl wear closed toed shoes. You're actually using the rainforest as your classroom, which is like an, an incredible experience. At this station, actually, you can't see them in the picture, but we were sleeping out on the porch here, basically, in sleeping bags, and you're right underneath spiders that are as big as your palm. <laughs> Nature-wise, like, you see an incredible diversity of species, spiders, snakes, like, monkeys, everything. Um, on the island, like, you go snorkeling a lot, and if you choose to, you can, uh, if you have your certification, you can go scuba diving, and, I mean, you, we were swimming with sea turtles, we saw... We saw sea turtle eggs hatch and the babies like go down to the ocean like you see in nature documentaries. It's it's essentially like being in a nature documentary. Uh, yeah. It's a scorpion. So I, yeah, we got to we got to hold scorpions. Um, scorpions in Costa Rica are not like lethally poisonous or venomous rather. Uh, one of the girls actually got stung by one on the island. And she was totally fine. I held that scorpion for a while. It was pretty cool. Tia Field Station is really good because there's a lot of like ponds and wetland areas. So it's really good to see turtles and frogs. While we were there, there was like a like a mating boom, and like if you just walked anywhere near the pond, you would hear all the frogs, and it was just really incredible for a few nights there. Another picture of the jungle. A lot of the program, you're like pretty much backpacking through the rainforest, which is an incredible experience. Everyone gets a pair of rubber boots on loan so that you can just walk through mud, walk through rivers. This is one of our nature hikes where we had a professor or an instructor with us. And it's just like a really chill out, chilled out experience because you just walk through and the instructor says, look at this plant. This is the ecological significance of this. Check out this spider. This is kind of cool. You just see like every meter of the rainforest is covered in something new. Like you, you see a new species, a new plant everywhere you go. The instructors are incredible. Frank Joyce is the head of the program and he's just amazing. He's Everyone been loves him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're in the rainforest with your professors and what like you see something, they explain what it is, and you're writing down your notebook. So it's extremely field oriented. It's not like a, a a standard classroom setting really, which I thought was amazing. I, I I feel like I personally learned a lot more from this like hands on experience than I ever would have just in a regular classroom. This was the boat ride to the island that we stayed on for five nights. This is kind of an interesting geological feature because um, Costa Rica is on the confluence of two different tectonic plates. This is one of the plates coming up over the other one. You can see how all those lines are like in parallel. Those are just all the plates that came up. That's the biological research station right there. That's kind of home base. And then a little bit above it in the picture is a grove where we uh, where we set up our tents. So the, the program is pretty varied for part of the time you're sleeping in tents. A lot of the time you spend with the, the rest of the group in like dorm style living. Part of the time you do homestays with local families and that's like pretty cool like the cultural immersion that you get there. You don't have to speak Spanish, that's not a prerequisite. I don't speak any Spanish really, neither yeah. does Steven. 
apart from obviously getting to see all the amazing nature and everything, you, you get a real sense of like the culture in, in a Spanish-speaking country. And uh, while you're uh, doing the homestay with the Costa Rican family, during those two weeks, it's just devoted to, uh, to research. You mm -hmm. get to do an independent research project on this trip that counts for one full upper division E and B class. Mm -hmm. And it's just a really incredible experience because you can possibly get published. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get my study published with one of the professors here. Yeah. I researched uh, nocturnal lepidoptera, uh, which are moths, <laughs> um, and the effect of habitat fragmentation. I'm concerned with like conservation sustainability. I studied a cryptic uh, dry forest tree called Rodera trinervis that pretty much hasn't been researched by anyone ever. Yeah. It gets a couple of mentions in a couple of papers, but other than that it was kind of in the dark which was actually really cool. That was probably the most valuable part of the entire trip was the fact that um, you do, it's essentially like a research project that you complete from beginning to end. The research uh, part of the course is really cool because you can pick whatever you want. If you saw something on the hike or something that you're like, oh, that, that's interesting, anything you want, you can study. So it was really cool having the ability to just pick something you're interested in and just do an entire project on it and have it count as a full class. And of course the instructors help you out a lot with the research yeah. project. They give you ideas for what statistics and data to take, mm -hmm. how to process it, how to put it into graphs, and then how to make sense of it. Whatever you guys have next plan for me, it's grad school and that's something that I'm putting on my resume and it's definitely going to help. One of the classes that you take for two units is agroecology, so you get to visit a lot of farms. Right here, this is a picture of a sustainable, mostly sustainable coffee farm, and you get to talk about a lot of the cool practices that they've implemented that can be applicable for, uh, for use in the States mm -hmm. as well. How physically demanding was the program? You don't have to be in like excellent shape or anything, but you shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't be unhealthy. <laughs> our our longest trip took the slowest kids like not even the whole morning, just a few hours. Yeah. So it's alright. Do you yeah. expect to graduate on time? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this, actually, this, this actually actually helps me graduate on time. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much.